What's going on gamers? RC Styles here welcoming you to the second preseason game of season three of MFL Mutant Football League where the players say fuck COVID, we're dead anyway. I'm joined today with Sleepy Jesus. As you can see the second game of the preseason is going to go up and have the Baltimore Razors meeting the season two champions Galaxy Chaos. Today's telecast is presented live from Baltimore <laughs> Scaryland and we're at b and Spank Stadium for today's game. The stadium is sold out and the atmosphere is electric. The fans want to see some hard-hitting carnage, <laughs> and so do I. I heard this city was famous for crabs, so if you get lucky tonight, Grim, make sure you take a shampoo with that quell lotion and see a doctor. <laughs> today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Baltimore Razors. Win the Orc Toss and can choose to kick off or kick off. They want to kick them in the nuts right out of the gate. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a, I'm still a civil. I own hell and all civil. Now it's just like that. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten.
aren't many things better than a running back blasting through the defense for a big game. Like some pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Oh, oh and pickles. Gotta have pickles. And it's first and ten. That's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and a lot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Boom! It's a day. Bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? It's jerking the ball lovingly. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Second down and six. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, look at this guy break it. It's a touchdown. <laughs> well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And then catch 
will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. He was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck. First and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down and forever. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Feed by Bum Bum. Stop him into the ground. The dirty. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated. And I'm a team agnostic. Wrong button, wrong button. You can't get that. I don't though. understand. Why are they going for it, Grim? This seems like the situation where they should always, always, always punt. Well, tell our viewers what you would do, Bricks. Epic fail by the offense. The defense gets the ball back. <laughs> and it's first and ten. show winner is well the third quarter coming up bricks this game has been a hot mess so far yeah kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings it's a hot mess on the exit ramp if you know what i mean the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond Yuck. That was not a kick you put on the resume. And 
It's first and ten. Sound the bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. First and ten. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Hey man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey. All right, Lamar Jackson. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them great kick too bad they don't get points for touchbacks Folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd. 
crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Third down and the punter is warming up. another pick man oh man the defense is gonna hit oh that was a big hit hey bricks i bet you took a lot of shots and this ref is definitely on the take that was a bogus penalty <laughs> third down and three Now the neighbors can quit complaining and join the party. Well, Folks, really. this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, oh there he's got it now. God. Yep. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other time. And that's going to do it for this preseason game with a shutout by the Baltimore Racers against Season 2 Champions Galaxy Chaos. Baltimore may just be the team to beat this season. you have to tune in next week to find that out. Then as for a sleeping, sleepy Jesus, I've been RC Styles, and we will see you next week.